Somerset, from a hydro point of view, has been the place to lead the whole market from, from, from river scale hydro projects. They got together, they raised grants, and they got right ahead of the whole game across the whole country. So the water flows through the big green pipe that is the bulk of the turbine, and inside that is a big spiral screw. The, the power comes out of the generator, it goes through here where it's checked to make sure it's suitable to fit in with the grid. If a fish swims in the top of one of these machines, it comes down and it goes out the other side and swims away. If you've got one of the high-speed, whizzy-type turbines, that simply chops up the fish and makes fish pate, which doesn't keep the environmentalists very happy and isn't very kind and very green. I'm very comfortable that Hydro is, is, a, is, a, is a great business for us to be in and Somerset's a great place to do it. Viridor started in Taunton, Somerset. It's equivalent to about somewhere in the region of 5,000 homes that we power from this site. Yeah, this was the first one in Somerset in 96. And then subsequently we've had two further engines put in as the landfill's grown and we've been able to extract more landfill gas from the site. Well, Kermi, we, we install wind turbines and we do a turnkey operation. Uh, it's a very, very much a growth industry in Somerset. This is a patented tower and it means that they can hydraulically lift it from a small pump. It's a great piece of kit. The process whereby bacteria take organic materials and make them into clean fertilizers of methane is probably the oldest process in the world. The rising bubbles come up here and any particles go up there as well and then they go around there and back again. And that is the minimum energy particle path to get back. The clever thing and what we've developed is how you help the bacteria to do it very efficiently and continuously and without failing and breaking down. We applied for planning permission and fantastic um, planners in Somerset, really, really helpful. So we got planning permission to run a, a plant here which takes organic materials and makes it into clean fertilizers and fuels. The difference between biomethane and liquid biofuels such as bioethanol and biodiesel is not, um, it's not just better, it's just in a completely different, uh, different field.